Be sure you turn off your water supply running to your water softener. Whether you bypass it or turn it off, you want to make sure there's no pressure going to your water softener. Today I'm going to replace the water softener flapper valve disc set for a 155 Autotrol control valve. <clears throat> and the way you can tell the 155 is that this bottom part in here kind of has a, a triangular look to it. Um, the 255 also has a, a triangular look, but this right here is off to the side on it. And the, the part number is the Pentair assembly number 103-3013. What I plan on doing is removing this timer by pulling this and then pulling it straight up and then you've got to remove these screws in here. I've removed the timer, now I have to remove these 11 screws here. There's one here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 11 with the one up here. So you have to remove 11 screws. I've removed the 11 screws. Now there's these little metal tabs that have to be pulled off uh, and release, released here. I'll show you how to do that. Let's see. Get in there with that pliers, pull straight up and just do that all the way across. I've ended up removing all the tabs. I, I found a, a small little flathead screwdriver to be handy with the smaller ones and just get in there and pull it back and, and pry up. So now all you have to do is lift this plastic part straight up and that exposes all the parts you need to replace there. To remove the valve, each valve disc, you pull up on each one some, some of them may be stubborn, but you just pick up on each one, pull it out, set it to the side. When you install the new tab, you'll see a little uh, protruding part right here at the very top, if you can see that. And that goes right into there, that little notch there. Just stick it down in there, each one. Oops upside down. All right, almost foolproof. Stick it down like that. Do that for each one. After you have all the valve discs in, you put this plastic piece right back on. Make sure you align the end of the slots there so it'll go in properly. When putting in the screws, I'm going to do it by hand. I've got it in. I'm just going to back it out till it clicks and then torque down on it till it's somewhat in there. Then after I do that with all the screws, I'll come back around and snug them all up. Now that I've got the top screwed back on, now I've got to work with each tab, pull back this tab. I'm going to need two hands to do it, so I can't really show you on the video. But you've got to pull back the tab until you got it back here. This lip has to clear here, clear the metal. And after you got it clear the, clear the metal, you push it down until it clicks into each hole for each tab. You can see the hole right down there. Then I'm going to put the cam into the timer. When you put the cam into the timer, you can only do it one way so you can't mess up. It'll fit in there just like that, nice and snug. If you try to do it the other, other way, it won't go in there right. Only one way. And it goes all the way down. Okay, I've slid the timer back on into these little notches on both sides. 
and when I put it on I've got the cam off to this side remember these levers are made to push this way toward the spring so I'm got this off to the side here so if I push this way it won't break any of the uh, tabs in there and now I'm just going to insert this back in okay that secured the timer now I'm going to put this in back in after I guide the cam back towards the middle. I'm going to need two hands for that as well. Okay, I just screwed the back end in and guided the cam back in, and it's all put together. Now I'll put this top back on. All done.